Hey, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. Are you a crafter? If so, this video is gonna be amazing for you. I'm gonna show you all the crafting opportunities available at the Goodwill Outlet. If you've never been to the Goodwill Outlet, it's an experience. It is the place that all the items go that never sell at the original Goodwill retail stores. So they bring them all to these locations, usually located in most major cities. This one in particular is in St. Louis area. So they basically take all of the items and they dump them into these big eight foot blue bins. And then they bring them out every 10 minutes new bins. But this is an entire warehouse space full of these bins and you simply just start digging. Well, if you're a crafter, you'll love this because there's tons of things to find. And I'm going to show you a few examples of those. Everything at the Goodwill Outlet at this one is $1.19 for the regular items, $0.19 cents a pound for glassware, and $0.25 cents per it binding on an inch of a book. So everything is sold by the pound. So some things that crafters might be interested in are maybe old vintage dishes that you see here in one of the bins. Uh, they look for various different items. Like I said, you just start digging through these bins and you can find various things. One thing I love to find are board games because a lot of crafters like to use pieces from the board games in their various crafting opportunities. And so you've got that game of sorry, you got hungry, hungry hippos here, and many other things. This place is absolutely massive and you'll love being able to just dig through the bins and find things. And here's another game that I found, Battleship, that has lots of mini pieces that you can use. And so that's for the creative uh, person doing crafting, but here is just a regular actual craft activity set. You can buy it for your kids, use it yourself, use the pieces out of it. There's lots and lots of things to find at the Goodwill Outlet for crafting. Here's also a cute little wooden vintage chair that you can refurbish. Keyboards are a biggie. Sometimes you can find regular keyboards and then typewriters and people like to take the actual letters off it and make fun, interesting craft pieces. Here's some actual crafting accessories, a snowflake for Christmas time. Some people even like to take toys apart and use those pieces, some netting there. They even like to use even some sporting equipment, which is a really, really good find at the Goodwill Outlet as well. Here's another fun board game that you can open up and just take the pieces because all you're doing is buying things by the pound. How many of you have seen these old things? Well, they've got cards and things with pictures on them that you can take out of there too. Again, a reminder, $1.19 per pound for each item, 19 cents a pound for glassware and 25 cents an inch for all books that you'll buy at the Goodwill Outlet. Sometimes you even find crafts that are already in the progress of being made. So here's a cute little wooden Christmas tree that you could take and you can either just keep it just like it is or refurbish it yourself. And this was a fun find. It's actual non-drying molding clay and as you can see the entire package is there for you to be able to use. There are also some old things like 
lamps that you can find. This is a cute red one that you can either paint or put some decor on. And then I even found, um, you know, some wire things and a cream lamp. That's a really fun item to redo. Toys are always fun to find, and here was a huge giant peep that I found that you could either keep intact or you could take the stuffing out for any kind of crafting ideas. There's a photo frame there that you can paint or just leave as is. And of course, you can always find jewelry and odd metal pieces for your crafting projects. A lot of people like to do large crafts. You can even find some bikes, take them apart, use the pieces. Here's some stickers for any younger crafting ideas. Tons of glassware you can paint. Um, this was foam that you can find for padding inside pillows. Actual pillows that you can take the padding out of. Here's some stamps that you can find for stamps and stencil work. Tons of glassware that can be refurbished and painted and made beautiful many different ways. That's a clay pot. Here's some more stamps that I found. Just lots of different options at the Goodwill Outlet. If you're a treasure hunter and you like to dig, this is the place for you. There was even some ribbon that I found that you can put on different projects. Here's a paint set that you can use the paints from. A lot of people like to paint those canning jars. Here's some already made stockings that you can use for fabric. And then of course, most of the Goodwill Outlet has books and clothing, so you can always take clothing apart and use that for your crafting project as well. Here's an old wreath somebody was working on that just needs a little bit of TLC and it looked gorgeous. There are actually lots of how-to craft books that you can even have as well. There's also lots of furniture that you can rehab as well at the Goodwill Outlet, and they're usually priced pretty inexpensive, anywhere from five to $10. Here was a beautiful lamp stand I found that still had all of the wiring intact. Here's a puzzle that I found. A lot of people like to take puzzle pieces and use them for their crafting projects. Um, there were a lot of how-to books and DVDs that you can find also for crafters. And then in one of the bins, I actually found a pile of colored pencils, which was amazing. And here is also another beautiful decorative lamp with all of the electrical hardware intact. And they do have outlets there so that you can just plug it into the wall to see is it even in working condition if you can find a light bulb that works. Not everything is used at the Goodwill Outlet. There are occasionally times that you can find things that are brand new and packaged like this particular item here. Some more things from Christmas time that you can use for any of your projects. So as you can see, this place is absolutely massive. It's got aisles and aisles and piles and piles of things that you can find if you're just willing to dig. So just keep going and looking um, like these folks go on the hunt. You can find lots of things at the Goodwill Outlet for your crafting needs. And I hope this has been helpful to just get a glimpse at how a crafter can use the Goodwill Outlet. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins. 
You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. This is Heather from HookedOnPickin.com. If you'd like to purchase my reseller guide, which is fully laminated three cards with checklists for Goodwill, eBay, and Amazon, please click the link below and you can purchase it now. The Goodwill card has over 80 different tips to show you how to walk through the store and what things I look for when walking through a thrift store to buy and resell items on Amazon, eBay, and other platforms. The Amazon reseller checklist has over six major steps and a lot of sub steps to look at in order to find out is my item going to be perfect for selling and reselling on Amazon. The eBay card also has six major steps to walk through to make sure you're choosing the right item that will be perfect for reselling and making money on eBay. Each card is fully laminated so that it cannot be destroyed easily and it's perfect for taking with you while you're going on your picking and finding treasure hunting for reselling. I hope this is helpful and I hope these cards help you to focus your energy to pick the right items to resell online to grow your reseller business. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.